we need to prove that x cube minus x is divisible by 6, right? So, what you do here, right? We will prove that it will be divisible by 2 followed by divisible by 3. So, what happens automatically it will be divisible by 6, right? Okay, okay. So, this is the given expression. So, what you do here, right? We will simplify, we will take the x as a common here, okay? Then what will happen? This will become like x square minus 1, okay? You know, in formula, right? That is a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square, right? So, even if you multiply, you will get the a, b, a, b term get cancelled, you will get the a square minus b square. So, this x into this x, you can write x square minus 1 square, right? So, then what will happen? This can be written like a plus b and a minus b, right? So, that you can write x minus 1 and x plus 1. Okay. So, I will rearrange these things. Okay. I will rearrange something like that. x minus 1, x and x plus 1. If you look at this, right, these are the three numbers and three are the consecutive numbers. Okay. If you write any consecutive numbers, three. Okay. Like 1, 2, 3. Okay. These are the three consecutive numbers, right? Is it divisible by 2? And 3, yes, right. So, you would say 2 is divisible by 3 and 3 is divisible by 3, right. So, that it is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3, okay. So, it is divisible by 6 automatically. So, 3 into 2, 6. So, it will be divisible by 6. If it is 2, 3, 4, then you it divisible by 2 and 3. Similarly, if it is 3, 4, 5, okay. So, it divisible by 3 and divisible by 2. Automatically, this is divisible by 6. So, clearly showing that, right, if it is any consecutive three numbers, one number must be divisible by 3 and one number must be divisible by 2, okay. So, by, by looking at naturally, we know that it will be divisible by 6, okay. But we need to prove this somehow, okay. Okay, first I will show you to prove it divisible by 3, this one, okay. For example, okay, if you, if any number, if you take, right, what the remainder, if you divide with 3, okay, any number, you take it, any number like x, okay, if you divide with that, you get some coefficient q, okay, and, and you get value of 3 into q, 3q, okay, if you subtract, you will get the three possible variations, one you will get the 0, or 1, or 2, right, you don't get more than this, right? Because 3, if we go now, again, the Q can be increased like that. So that, what we can write, the this any this number, right? The any number, X can be written like 3 into Q plus 0, if it is completely divisible, okay? Or X equal to 3Q plus 1. Q is the coefficient, that X equal to 3Q plus 2. Okay, so these are the three possibilities there for the x, okay. Let's take the first possibility, okay. If x is equal to 3q, is it clearly showing that it is divisible by 3, right. If it is coming to second case, okay, then if you are sending this one to others, if you are taking the second case, that is x is equal to 3q plus 1, okay. If you send this one to this side of the equation, then we will get the x minus 1 equal to 3q. So that, so, so x minus 1 will be divisible by 3, okay. If the third case, okay, that is x equal to 3q plus 2. So what do you do here? We will add both sides plus 1, okay. So what will happen, left side, it will become x plus 1. I am just adding either side 1, okay. The right side 1, it will become 3q. We are adding 1, right? It will become 3, okay? So, if you take the common 3, it will become like Q plus 1, right? So, if the third case, then X plus 1 will be divisible by 3, okay? 
So now, if any of the case, it is divisible either x minus 1 or x or x plus 1, right? Any of the case, it is divisible by 3, okay? Similarly, when you have, we need to prove that it is divisible by 2 now, right? So, when you do with, divide with the 2 number, okay? Any number. So, with coefficient q, so what is the 2 into q, what will get the remainder? Either 0 or 1, right? So, that the x can be, you can write it like 2q plus 0 or x is equal to 2q plus 1, right? Here it is very simple. It is the first case, it is directly divisible by 2. In the second case, if you are sending to other side of this one, right? So, x minus 1 will be divisible by 2. So, it is a 2q format, right? Okay, if any number is having the 2 into k format, it is divisible by 2. Like, if it is a 3k format, it is divisible by 3. Similarly, so, so x minus 1 division by 2. So, that we proved that it is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3. Okay, so that if you 2 into 3 multiplied, right? It is 6, right? So, it, it is must be divisible by 6. Mm -hmm.